Hello, my beautiful people. You all are welcome once again to Believer Slow World Message Studio. And this channel brings you our reaction messages from my dear man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilumi. And if this is your first time coming across this channel and you don't want to miss messages like this that we're posting on this channel, then kindly do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. And if you like what we're doing on this channel, they want to support us in any way or you want to buy us a coffee and can they use the thanks button below we gladly appreciate it and if you want to get a special pack from us as well then please kindly do join this channel and we'll be sending you a very special pack and we'll be posting a very special pack for you and on this message today i still want to especially welcome you all to another segment of question and answer with a man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Ayakilomi. And you know, a lot of people have been asking if it's right for us to obey the law. And on this message, there is another question being attached to it. If it's right for us to have tattoos on our body, and a man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Ayakilomi, we've been answering those questions in a short moment. So I urge you all to pay close attention to this video. And if you have anything to tell us about this message, uh, this message has been a prop to you and do not forget to leave a comment on the comment section and do not forget to share this message as well for it to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world and it was to help this channel to grow and do not forget to give us a thumbs up thank you all and keep watching in your country there was a law or uh, a certain kind of tax had been imposed by the government. That was now a law that that particular tax must be paid by everybody or the people of a certain class. If after a few years that law is abrogated and you're no longer to pay that tax, can you say that the law says to pay that tax does the law the new law say anything about that tax all that you see is that all the law concerning that tax has been abrogated it would be wrong to say that the new law teaches about the tax or tells you to pay the tax or says something about the tax the only thing it says about it is it's been abrogated that's what the new law says. So in the same way, when you review this scripture, where it talks about the marks that you put on your body, the context primarily was actually doing it for the dead. But there's so much about it that we can talk about. But the most important thing is, the Bible tells us that this law has been abrogated it's been abolished and ceases to be therefore it cannot be used to teach that god has said something against or for whatever that was it's been abrogated that's what the bible teaches so it doesn't make any sense to read it and say um god has said this against tattoos he didn't say it against tattoos because he said it to Israel against tattoos for the dead. That's actually what he said. God was not saying don't shave your hair, don't trim your beard, because you're going to have to put the two together. If you are thinking that God said don't use tattoos, then he, he definitely then said from the previous verse, don't trim your beard, because it's the same thing. But the context was don't do this for the dead. That's what's important here don't do it for the dead and he's not talking to you he was saying this to israel not to the church this was part of the law of moses and i want to read to you what the bible says about the law here so that you can you can understand that this had nothing to do with you the law has been abrogated it's been abolished it doesn't make sense to quote this and say this is what the bible teaches about no, the word of God taught this to the children of Israel years ago. Before Jesus came, 
fulfilled the Old Testament and abolished it. The Bible doesn't teach this anymore. It doesn't teach this any more than it teaches you not to trim your beards. Now, in many of these things, what the Bible teaches really is uh, about purpose and excesses. For example, in the issue of drinking, it talks about purpose and excesses. Why do you drink? And when you drink, should you drink excessively? God says no. He doesn't want you to drink excessively. These are the teachings of the scriptures. And it says, you know, when the Bible doesn't touch, not taste, not handle, not all of these things, it says they have to perish with the use. So let the scriptures, let the, the doctrine of Christ control your thinking, control your ideas, control your understanding. And open your heart to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Understand it. Learn it. Study the word. And be not entangled again by the yoke of bondage. Now, does this teaching say use the tools? No. We're saying that the word is not telling you about tattoos anymore. He told the children of Israel, and the law is over. So He's not, he's not encouraging you to therefore go and do it. For example, when the word tells you, be not drunk with wine, we're in his excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Does that mean, oh, since he says, don't drink it excessively, we might as well go into the bars and do all of this? That's not what he teaches. It just means that you understand purpose in moderation. It teaches moderation in your dressing. It teaches moderation in your hair. It teaches moderation in where you go, in the things you do. Even in your food. It doesn't tell you what food to eat and what food not to eat. But it teaches you moderation. So this is what you have to learn to understand in the scriptures. And let no one use the Bible, see, to, to mislead you. Understand it in the light of the gospel. Okay, thank you all for watching that wonderful episode and I believe you enjoyed that episode and if this is your first time coming across this channel and you don't want to miss messages like this that were posted on this channel then kindly do hit the subscribe button and also, also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. And if you like what we're doing on this channel that you want to support us in any way or you want us back you want to buy us a coffee you can kindly use the time spot link below and if you want to get a special pack from us then please do kindly join this channel and thanks for watching once again and please do not forget to share this message for it to help us to share the gospel of christ all around the world and it also help this channel to grow thanks for watching and stay tuned to see you next time we love you and God bless you.